the strongest. So I don't think you really need a Renata. And I like this a lot more. Dracos, you said Rogue have three out of three champions they won last game with. Now I raise you. They have four out of five of the last champions they have they won last game with. Replace the Jace for an Orn and give them more because they want to split the map bot side. Take all the bot side camps away, but Oduapne is here and he's not going to allow that to happen. Three man knock in the area. Three man knock is a good start. Upset does manage to flash over the wall, but he's taking a lot of damage in the meantime. Scott over the wall from Larson. Doesn't have any cooldowns, but he does have the passive stack. They're forcing out the early heal. Hellasang will go down. Rogue, this time ready for the level one vengeance. Look at Razo. Ah, no. Razo will get he might still get the play anyway. Go in, abscond, abduct. A lot of good upfront damage. Human right now has to walk away, looking for the flash. Potentially, the chain's gonna finish the job. Razor, now he gets a reset. There's nothing. Yeah, he got spotted out on the ward. He gets spotted, spotted out on right again. Here. They all know that he's here. And the oh, oh, humanoid. Oh, bully and humanoid. He's gonna go down again. No flash from the previous play makes it an easy target. And for the second time, humanoid dies on the TF. That'll free up Larson so much in this lane that they'll slightly oppressive. And now they're looking top. Knock back there. Wonder flashing into the all clean read coming in from Odawamne. Wonder should just fall here. Shows down the infernal chain. It will not be enough. Maorang gonna take the kill there in the end. Okay. People don't like oh, no. simple I'm instructions. The target. You gotta run. No cleanse either. Humanoid on the way in. Or Larson on the way in with the stolen. Oh, they take that back. Upset now just getting shredded. Humanoid on the backside looking to fight comp, but I don't know if he has enough damage. Trippy now shifting his attention. Upset now drops. Razor wants to get something back. Maybe just maybe if they get a reset, they get something done. Maorang level six. Alting back through. The ignite ticking down, but he's running for oh, his life. He knows no. the reset will be a problem. Oh, Maorang still standing. <laughs> Maorang still alive. Oh, Look at go. God. That's so damn clean from Rogue. That is massive. Eight to zero. Has so many tools to Odo engage. Odo see objective. Odo Walking go. Forward. You go unstoppable for Remo. And instantly they're just going to collapse onto Wonder, trying to split the fight. Fnatic, she went on the back side. That's going to be ulti coming in. Hellsang not in position to block. And upset isolated. Odo oh, no. five. Trying to get a reset again. Fishing for something. But Larson is just now joining the fight. It was a 4v5. Fnatic could get nothing done. Oh. It's a 5v5. And now they definitely can get nothing done. Trippy overextending just a brief moment. Wants to go back to the rest of the team. They're trying to keep the fight going. Hillisang certainly will fall. Larson going in. Humor and getting taken down. And oh man, if it was From a. Odo, the stun connected. Wonder would follow up with the chains he's So he's gonna die. He's gonna die. Be the lockup. Snare now coming down. Hillisang trying to back away. Humanoid the first to drop. Larson has the stolen Brahm. Ultimate is gonna fish for the knock. Will hit one upset mitigating a bit of damage with the Guardian. The knockups now coming through Sweat by the Mad Lions last year. I have to cut my point off because it's another fight. Razor now trying to make a play onto Larson. Larson could be in trouble here. That's the stun. It's a lot of immediate CC. The dash backwards into the Everfrost. The rocket going wide. Wants to finish Larson off. Wants to get that reset. The W from Silence is so strong, but finally they will get something. They're gonna try to keep this fight going, but that's a stolen away Silence. It's a very fed stolen away Silence. The Ignite ticking. He's burning Malrag now dominating. It's a perfect game. Good job, Larson. Yeah. Okay. <laughs> well, you know what? I, I'll, I'll still praise him, and I'll tell you another story. Because you look at Fnatic Rogue, it's not Rogue Fate. You don't have time, Drinkos. You don't have time. That looks like it might just be a little bit of murder. Gold card going down. Humanoid flashing out to safety. <laughs> Trippy not done solo with kill. him yet. Solo kill. Scorpion style. Get over here. But Trimby actually really going to be, we're so long with Inspired, Rogue were a jungle-focused team. They picked strong lanes to enable their jungler, and this year it's been so We're going to have a bit of a fight in bots. We're going in, trying to outmaneuver the Rakan. Initial burst damage is just going to delete him. TF now on the way forward, looking to stun the target. Odawami taking the tower for now. Now it's going to shift uh -oh. the focus, but here comes the oh, Here comes the re-engage, and that's oh. the one we talked about. Fire rains from the sky as Cobb. And the rest of Rogue obliterate Fnatic in the dive. Oh, Rogue still keeping up more kills than there are minutes in the game. 16 minutes, 18 kills to Rogue Vedius. We talked about the last couple games where Rogue flip elders and they have to take risks to get back in it. That's Fnatic's risk right there. They all look pretty stupid because they get five for Rogue, but if they don't try to defend that tower... Fnatic, can they stay strong? Can they hold fast on a new team, on a new lineup, on a new roster in the face of a potential game five as Rogue once again look to pick them apart? Comp stepping up. What do I have Get stunned up. Duck. Maybe it could be a target. One, two, make a move for three. Big heal comes across the backside for Wonder. Trippy now has found the lockup. The gold card now gonna go in. Maybe just maybe Fnatic get a shutdown, but so far they're walking away empty handed. Wonder going over the wall. He will take down Trimby. He will zoom out to safety, but Razor now going in on the backside, all on his lonesome. The rocket going across as well. Larson. Just putting on a clinic here, beating them down. Know that this game ever happened, and think about what's working and what isn't. To me, a couple standouts. Red side is working for everyone right now. Red side's won every single game. Hecarim, don't give it over to Rogue. I don't care if you don't end it. I don't care if you don't fall for his traps or his ganks, whatever it is. Second thing, I mean, third thing, sorry. TF really isn't working either. Humanoid looks a lot more comfortable on something that can scale a little bit better. Because Team Five's the aim of this series, I think. Humanoid going in. You do not win. Going that. down. Red, white, do not fight. Them's the rules for a reason. Goodbye, Humanoid. Goodbye, Hillisang. Rogue again.
desperation for Fnatic, they are fishing. There is nothing, there is little that Fnatic can uh, do except for think about game five. There's not many games I've seen like this games. in competition. Looking extremely dominant, found a formula that works, and Fnatic, I think, kind of gifted them this game in a way where they're like, okay, last game... In the finals, where they were dominated, and they're both trying to find redemption. Hillisang, he's gonna lose his life. Yep. Not much to say off the back of that. The Hexgate's making it even easier. You play before you do, right? You can see them play in the loser's bracket final before you play against them, so you get a little bit more information. So always helps, make so you're sitting under a kind of safety net, you're not up against elimination, because obviously you're in the finals, and you get more information on the enemy team. So definitely a lot to play for here, of course. And uh, yeah, I think it's just closing stages here for the game. You can see Upset and Wonder, they're losing their inhibitor top. They're just trying to get a bond tier one. Objective bounties through the roof right now, but yeah, Rogue Cap Barrier in 21 minutes. I mean, biding their time, you have to feel maybe hoping, praying for a massive mistake from Rogue, but with Rogue having this big of a lead, it's kind of impossible really to make any hugely grievous errors. So now it's just a matter of time. Fnatic, hold their breath, wait for it to pass figure out a strategy for the game to come. But what I will say is, I don't think I've ever seen Fnatic lose a game this hard in recent memory. Um, oh no. <laughs> they should definitely be able to bounce back after this, because they know there's only one game left. And the mental, I'm sure, will be broke that end up getting reverse swept by Mad. You, as would Omni, you have to feel pretty good, potentially getting your own reverse sweep after what happened last year, being able to fight your way back against Fnatic 2, the organization that keeps taking those series away from Rogue. And while it's not the entirety of a redemption story for Rogue in playoffs, it is the first couple pages, the first couple chapters of what could be a Rogue trophy at the end of the season. The fact that they can't go toe-to-toe -to -toe in five cards, the fact that they're not throwing it away on a risky team fight or a Gnar from a flank is massive, as they now just walk their minions into the base as they secure Silver Scrapes on the back of one of the most dominant playoff matchups we've ever seen. It's a bloodbath, but we know who's gonna come out on top. Rogue, absolute domination as this game with it will end. We are going to game five. It is time for Silver Scrapes. My lord, 11 towers to one, almost a 20,000.